uh, how do we go towards the quantum self and leave the me behind? The me that, you know, everybody gets confused about. What is in it for me? Transaction, that kind of uh, way of living. I discovered that that's what was making me unhappy. And then you move towards I, you become happier and happier because you are subject now. You are experiencing the world now. World is important to you. And then you don't feel that selfishness, what is in it for me every time you relate to someone. You can relate to someone from the viewpoint of both. What is important for him? What is important for her? And that's what improves the relationship with the world and you become happier and happier because of that expansion of consciousness. And, and you would say this expansion of consciousness is the path towards becoming a quantum, is becoming a quantum activist. Yes. yes. I mean, quantum activist exemplifies that expansion. You come in touch with a quantum activist who is, who is into personal growth. I mean, look, it's just a name, okay? We are using quantum principles, so we call ourselves quantum activists. But actually, all spiritual uh, act practitioners are quantum activists. In, you know, they just don't use the term because they use um, methods which are which goes by different uh, names like meditation. We now we see that meditation really consists of many stages, many types, and it's really the creative process. So we have done some uh, scientific categorization of ancient methods mm -hmm. that ancient people already used. So I'm not claiming that you know we are bringing a whole bunch of originality. No, these views existed. It's a continuingly developing science for, let's say, three to 5,000 years old. But we have, uh, we have now, with our classification and scientific way of looking at it, we have made some definite progress. Before, people sort of blindly went into it. They didn't know what they're doing because they, all they had was, okay, you meditate. So some people kind of perseverant and all that, resilient and all that, they, in spite of the ups and downs, somehow they broke through, but very few. Whereas now we know the process. We know that we have to use the creative process. It has stages and we do these stages and we get to the outcome. It's now it is much more tractable. And this is why I'm very hopeful that we can change the transactional way of the world to a transformational way of living.